First day of the new month here in July. That means time for the monthly forecast here at the One Degree Outside Weather Network. I'm meteorologist Matt Noyce. Before we dive into the forecast, if you love weather and you love all things meteorology and kind of getting into the nitty gritty of it, you probably want to become a member. Membership.OneDegreeOutside.com. You can go to that website, take a look at all the different tiers. If you're into golfing, beach, or boating, you probably would want that One Degree Outside enthusiast level. Our podcasts are under the inside track. Okay, but what's going on in terms of the weather for the month? Let's start out with the first half of the month and looking at the jet stream. It's a little bit different from the daily jet stream maps we show you. We've colored it a little bit differently just so you can see where the strongest wind currents are in the westerlies. Now notice mostly that stays north of the Rockies, the Intermountain region and the Northern Plains. But from time to time, we get dips of the westerly winds that come down over New England. What this represents is a steering flow that will carry energetic disturbances in our direction. But because the westerlies overall are staying north of the continental United States, that means generally we should stay warmer than normal on temperature. You will get occasional incursions of cool air with cold fronts, and of course, those cold fronts spark thunderstorms. So if you love thunderstorms, this may be a fun month for you as we get them from time to time. Of course, the one thing we'll always be on the lookout for is severe weather and whether or not that comes together. But each time when you cut into the warmth with the energetic disturbances, that chance, of course, goes up. Nonetheless, it is warmer than normal air all across much of the United States. The exceptions may be where it's normally hot already in parts of the desert southwest, and also when you get into the southeastern United States, if we get enough clouds, showers, thunderstorms down there, which it may be a wet pattern for them, then you'd be looking at below normal temperatures. Normal high in Boston, this is the warmest month overall, 82.1 degrees, a normal low, 66. But we are above normal the way we see it anyway for this month from corner to corner across New England. Now, when you look at the last 30 days, you could say overall it was near normal precipitation, I suppose. But again, everything's local. And if you're on the Cape or even up to Boston and Plymouth, you only got about 47, 50% of your normal precipitation over the last 30 days, whereas we were sporting about 145% of normal when you get into Concord, right? So it does depend on where you are. But when we look to the next 30 days, having this active flow in the jet stream, a slight trough, a broad trough that would allow for at least some energetic disturbances to spark thunderstorms certainly should get us, I would think, near normal on precipitation. Admittedly, it can go either way only because it depends on where some of the most active thunderstorm regions kind of set up, right? But from New York to New England, that's the thought process. Whereas you'd be pulling in more in the way of humidity and therefore generating more thunderstorms in the southeastern quadrant of the United States. And that's where we have above normal precipitation. In Boston, the normal precipitation, 3.27 inches. Again, probably near normal, but it's going to have to do with how the thunderstorms come together. And a reminder that as we go through the month, you can stay two weeks ahead of the game. The 14-day forecast, always available, totally free, and five stars. Folks are loving it. If you haven't grabbed the app yet, if you have family and friends that haven't, summertime, you're making plans, now's the time to tell them, grab the One Degree Outside app on the App Store and Google Play. Look forward to seeing you always with updates every day of the month at OneDegreeOutside.com and atop the home screen of our One Degree Outside weather app. 